right, I'm going to show you guys how to make this very cute little cupcake charm right here. You could use it as a little pendant, a keychain, earrings, whatever you like. All right, so let me show you the list of what you need in the materials. You're going to need a head pin. You're going to need bugle beads. You're going to need six bugle beads. You're going to need three millimeter. These are bicones. You could use uh, three millimeter uh, rounds if you'd like, but these are the bicones. You're going to need, these are three millimeter pearls. You're going to need 12. And you're going to need two. Uh, these are four millimeter uh, rondelles, but you don't need rondelles. You could use just any bead as the accent and it needs to be four millimeter because one is going to go inside and that's going to hold the head pin and you can have one on top for the cherry with a little topping so you'll need two of those and you're going to need I am using my <clears throat> monofilament here and it's the eight pound test um, also the sizes vary you could do these with bigger beads as well you could do these with the longer bugle beads um, these are short ones so that's why I'm using smaller beads and plus it's a cute little charm but if you want to make a bigger cupcake you want to get the longer um, one the bugle beads the longer ones and then you could use four millimeter uh, beads right now these are the three millimeter you could do them in four you could do them in six depending on how big you want to make it all right, so let's get started. So what you're going to do, you also need, you know, I can't believe I completely forgot the most important thing is you're gonna need six seed beads. So let me get my six seed beads out. It doesn't matter what color. Okay, so I have six seed beads. So that's, that's the material list. Okay, so to get started, you're going to put six of the seed beads on your thread. Let those drop down. You're going to take your last seed bead. And then you're going to take your left thread. And you're going to cross through that bead. You're going to put your two tails together like that. And you're going to pull that bead down so you could center. You want to center that. And it's going to look like that. On your right thread, you're going to take a bugle bead, you're going to take a pearl, and another bugle bead. And then with your left thread, you're going to cross through that last bugle bead, and then you pull. It should look like that. Now with this thread, the one that is closest to the seed beads, because you have one of your threads coming up here, and you have the one down here, is you're going to take that thread and you're going to go through the next seed bead next to the one that you're coming out of. Let's move this over. Now your piece should look like this. You have a thread coming out of that seed bead and a thread coming here. So with this thread, you're going to add a pearl. And then a bugle bead. And then with the other thread, the one that's coming out of the bottom, is you're going to cross through that last bugle bead. And you get a pull. It should look like that. So again, you're going to take this thread, the one that is coming out of the bottom next to the seed beads, and you're going to go through the next seed bead in the row. Now it should look like this. 
So again, you're going to take the thread that's coming out of the top and you're going to add a pearl and a bugle bead. You're going to take your thread that's coming out of the bottom and you're going to cross through that and pull. You're going to take your bottom thread and again you're going to go through the next seed bead in the row. And then with your top thread you're going to add another seed bead and a bugle. Take the bottom thread and cross through it. And pull and do that again take the bottom and you're gonna go through that next seed bead in the row and you're going to add a seed bead I mean a pearl and a bugle, the last bugle. Take your bottom thread and you can cross through. And you're going to pull. Okay, so now this is what your piece looks like. You have a thread coming out of the bottom, you have a thread coming out of the top. You're going to take your bottom thread and you're just going to go up the next bugle bead. And now you have both threads coming out of the top. So you're going to add your last pearl and then with the other thread you're just going to cross through that last pearl. And pull. And there you have that portion done. So now what we're going to do, this is how your thread is coming out of this one pearl. You're going to take your thread and you're going to pick up one of the crystals. And then you're going to go through the next pearl. Because now you're going to put these in between the pearls. Like that. You're going to take, pick up another crystal and you're going to go through the next pearl in the row these are a little hard to work with because they're a pearl and they're really small so the hole gets blocked So if you have a three millimeter regular bead, it would work better. <laughs> so otherwise, it gets stuck. So you just continue that around until you get to the last one. And I'll show you what the next step is. And if it does get stuck, if you have a needle near you, you could just try to clear that out, whatever is blocking it.
I want to give this a try. I'm going to get a needle and try to unblock it. Two more. Okay, one more. Okay, so now you have the crystals around all of them. And you have your string coming out of this bead here, the pearl. And then you're going to take, on your right thread, you're going to take two of the pearls. And you're going to cross through that last pearl that you added. Pull. You can have it sit on top. Oh, you have it sit on top of that pearl like that. And then what you're going to do, and this is, again, it's going to be a little bit hard with these pearls. I should have thought of that. <laughs> but you're going to go through the next pearl. You're going to skip over the crystal, and you're going to go to the next pearl. And if you have to, you know, move it around so you can get it through there, then go ahead and do that. I keep my needle right near me when I try to pull it through. There we go. That way I open up the hole a little bit better. And then you try to get that through there like that. There we go. Okay, so on your right thread, you're not going to add two. You're going to do one for now on. So you're going to take one of the beads. Cross through that like that. And pull. That looks like that. Again, you're going to skip the crystal and you're going to go through the next pearl in the next line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you here and I'm going to come back when I go around it because I have a feeling I'm going to have to, it's going to take me a while to get through these pearls. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to skip, you're going to skip a crystal, you're going to put your thread through that one. On your right thread, you're going to add one pearl. You're going to skip this crystal with your left thread, and you're going to go through the next pearl. And the same thing, on your right thread, you're going to take another pearl, just one, until you get to the end. And when you get to the end, I'll come right back, and I'll show you what you have to do next. Got all six on. And as you see, there's like a space over here. So we've got all six on. You're going to take your next thread and you're going to go through that first bead that you started from. Oh, I couldn't find the hole. Here it is. And then you're going to take your two, two threads and you're going to make a knot. You're going to tie them and it's going to kind of pull them together. So you're going to go, you're going to go left over right, right over left, make a double knot there and pull. And that's pretty much what it is. Pretty simple. Then you want to take your your, your threads 
and you want to go through a couple of them just to secure it but for this well you could just cut it if you think you have a tight a nice tight knot and if you want to dab a little bit of glue there you can't see that so you're good right there and then you're going to take your the three mil the four millimeter little bead and you're going to stick it in there like that you're going to pop it in you're going to take your head pin and you're going to try to fit, find the hole that you can go through Does this head pin work on here? Yes. So you're just going to go in here and you're going to, there we go. Go like that. And then you take your little cherry and you're going to go like that. And then you're going to take your pliers, round nose pliers, and you're going to bend it. You're going to bend it like that. You're going to bend it that way. And then you're going to go like that on top. And then you're going to bend it back. And then you're going to take your cutter and you're just going to clip it off. And then you're going to take your pliers and then you're just going to straighten that out. And there it is. There's your little cupcake. It's very cute. So now I have two. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully <clears throat> it was easy enough to follow. And if you have any questions, just uh, send me a message and I'll do my best to answer whatever questions you have. All right, have a great day and see you soon.